from last year. And they got a couple of new sponsors on the car. They want to thank Redline Safety, Doug and Kathy Stone, BSR Racing, and the Bank of Mom and Dad for the six of Bella Thompson. And starting us off on the pole, a rookie on the pole in front of a 1,000 race fans. No pressure for the young man out of Lincoln for asset preservation. Walker Telecom. Also, Ciotti Sellers, Sullivan's Auto Glass, Eagle Plumbing, and CV Industrial. It's Anthony Bean. And those are your drivers for the Mini Cups versus the Bandoleros. And I'm going to throw this one over to Noah Reed for the call of this 20-lap main event. Noah, welcome to the booth. Our 15-year-old announcer extraordinaire from Whitney High School. I won't hold it against you. Go Thunder. Uh, but anyway, Whitney High School in the booth here. And uh, just like my career started when I was 15 on the Mini Cups, really glad to have you on the call. I know you got to talk to these kids earlier today. They're all about the same age as you, a bunch of 14-year-olds out there. Gosh, I don't even know how old Anthony Bean is, but we're getting set to go and tell us what we should be in store for here. We had a great race a couple weeks ago. Well, that rookie of Anthony Bean is very excited to drive today. He wants to thank his mom, his dad, and his uncle Steve. He's very excited to try and win this race today. Well, and what's been unique is that uh, coming into the year, we had not had a mini cup win the combined mini cup Bandolero main events. The Bando's a little bit more horsepower, and you, we've seen drivers like Trey Daniels, Kenna Mitchell, some really high quality drivers. But this year, the Bando's have the goose egg. They're 0 and 2. Can Anthony B get the Bando's back to victory lane? That is to be seen. Give a round of applause to these young drivers. Here they come, one more to the green flag. Pace car pulling off of pit road. Anthony Bean leads them to green. And they're off into turn one. Anthony Bean. Colton Nelson making an early move on the inside. Colton Nelson, your points leader. But Anthony Bean's going to get clear of him on turn three. Anthony Bean, the rookie, he leads lap one. Colton Nelson making a shot again to the inside. He's side by side with Anthony Bean. Bean again pulls clear, but here comes Colton Nelson on the inside. Colton Nelson clear. He leads lap two. Eighteen laps to go. Colton Nelson leads as Anthony Bean falls to second. And Bella Thompson trying to make a move on him from third. Colton Nelson just ran his fastest lap of 17.648. He's about a whole second faster than the rest of this field. So Noah, the big thing on these cars, the Bandos, they've got twice the horsepower. That's the red 21 of Bean. The six, that black car, the mini cup of Bella Thompson, half the power. So you can see on the straightaways, Bean pulling away, and then Bella comes swooping in into the corner. Let's see if Bella can find a way to pass Anthony Bean for second. She's going to just have to work on him in that corner, pressure him. But the rookie's doing a very good job. Here she comes on that outside as Colton Nelson is driving away from this field. 
14 laps to go out of this 20 lap feature. Bella comes in turn two, she's got him side by side. Anthony being driving off of turn two as the caution flag is out. Uh, right as things were getting contact, busy. Contact, contact. And Noah, I'm not quite sure what the caution was for because things were just about to get really exciting for second. And we get this yellow here on lap number seven. Debris. Debris on the front stretch. That is why the caution flag has flown. And we got our uh, DJ safety, or I'm sorry, MotoWare safety crew. I work with a lot of safety crews. Our MotoWare safety crew working their way on the track, and our Speed Sport TV cameras are trying to find where that debris is. So they're looking around trying to find it for us. Right up against the wall, and when you've seen the way these cars really swoop all the way up against the wall, uh, they, they need every inch of real estate here. Now, the guy that didn't want this yellow is the 45, right? Yeah, Colton Nelson is your points leader. He's already got a win here in the Mini Cup versus the Bandoleros. Two top fives and two top tens. Yeah, he didn't want to see that at all. No siree. <laughs> He's just, wa all he wants is a good, clean restart for 12 to go. Well, and the restart's the toughest thing because that's where the Bandoleros can use all 30 of their horsepower. And then it's the, uh, it's the mini cup that really comes to its own when we're under green flag conditions as they're still kind of checking things out there. Quickly here on Speed Sport TV, I'm going to show them a replay of that great battle between uh, Bella and Anthony Bean. And Bella, she hustles the entry of that corner with that mini cup, and they almost made contact, but they didn't. And then Bean pulled away, and then the uh, cautions came out right as she dove up under him again out of turn number four. Well, she'll certainly get an opportunity to try that move again on the inside of turn one. Looks like the yellow lights are still on the Toyota Camry pace car. We're going to have one more trip around this one-third mile speedway here for the Bandos. And, you know... We were just talking to those youngsters on the front straightaway, Chevy Schroeder and all those youngsters that run the 250 go-karts. Uh, if you're looking at running these cars, you can be as young as eight years old, eight to 15, and we have info at allamericanspeedway.com. We would love to have a few more drivers join us in this series, Noah. And there are more of them coming. Here Pace we go. Pace car pulls off pit road. Kenny Newberry giving him the green flag. Anthony Bean's going to give him a shot. Colton Nelson a shot to the outside, but Colton Nelson clears him very easily off of turn two. That was impressive. Anthony Bean looking to get a run back into turn three, but Colton Nelson just corners turn four really well. I kind of feel like it might have benefited Bean to be behind the 45 and maybe follow him into the corner, and it's hotting up for second. Bella Thompson again making attack after attack on the 21 of Anthony Bean. Colton Nelson leads once more. Ten laps to go. Anthony Bean just ran his fastest lap of the race along with Bella Thompson for Anthony Bean, a 17.888. And for Bella Thompson, an 18.075. They are starting to close the gap time-wise on Colton Nelson. Another fast time for Anthony Bean and Bella Thompson. They are trying to stay with Colton Nelson, hoping he makes a mistake. Eight laps to go. Thompson still trying to make a move on him in the corner. Bella Thompson starting to fall back just a little bit as Colton Nelson is really starting to pull away like he did on that first green flag run. Colton Nelson driving across the stripe. Six laps to go here in the Mini Cups versus the Bandoleros. Bella Thompson giving a shot to the 21. Around the outside, they're side by side. Contact, contact. Bella Thompson versus Anthony Bean. Make some noise for the driver you think is going to be getting that second spot. 
this is as good as any battle you're going to get tonight, Rays fans. Being the rookie out of Lincoln, the champion Bella Thompson out of El Dorado Hills trying to get in there. And Bella trying to move up to late model soon. And uh, But first, she's got to find a way to pass the bando. The 45, and Nelson's the leader. Four laps to go. Bella Thompson just trying to make the move on Anthony Bean. And Anthony Bean is just holding on for dear life. F4 main event right after this. It's going for it again on the front straightaway. Three laps to go. Here she comes again, turn two. Doesn't complete the run, Anthony Bean just holding the inside. And these mini cups handle so well, they got suspensions, they, they are lighter weight, lower to the ground, but the bandos twice the power. It's kind of like our late models, an open motor versus a crate motor, here goes Bella. Bella goes to the outside again, but she has nothing for her. He blocks her on the backstretch. Contact, Bella gives him what we call a bump tap. And we are on the final lap for your leader as well. Call him home, Noah. Colton Nelson driving into turn four. Colton Nelson, he's the victor as Bella Thompson goes around in turn three. Anthony being the rookie takes home second after a great battle between Bella Thompson and Anthony Bean. How about it for Colton Nelson? Make some noise for Colton Nelson. And we're going to get down.